So welcome back to the Cruise Small Tribes server and we continue this time we're going to be doing the artifact of the hunter cave. I've got a couple of imprinted wolves, nothing special, but of course by ordinary standards they would look extremely special, but they're not mutated, we've just combined some reasonable stats. And of course we've turned up creatures to level 300 and that affects everything in the game. This is going to affect the bosses, they're going to be twice as hard and the caves are going to be twice as hard. Now. That kind of doesn't count really as much for the artifact of the Hunter Cave because all the wild creatures in this cave are locked at 300. But the rest of the caves, yeah, they're going to be pretty difficult. And we've done that because of what Wildcard have decided to do with the loot. We, we literally can't turn it down from level 1 loot. And because of that, we're finding shotguns that are outputting DPS of... 20,000 a second so that's enough to one shot somebody off a giga we've got saddles that you can craft at like four or five hundred percent armor so it, it really is so overpowered that we've turned the creatures up to try and negate that because we can't turn the loot down and yeah there is some there is some trade-offs with that obviously the utility creatures have definitely got a lot more weight and they're they're it's saving less of a grind, I'm feeling, when we're going out and just gathering resources. But uh, when it comes to the caves, well, <laughs> they're going to be a little bit more difficult. And uh, yeah, I've, I've kind of enjoyed level 300s, but I'm just getting used to what all the numbers need to be. So it's going to take me a while, but, you know, we're experimenting with it. Now, when it comes to the caves, ordinarily my... Phyla Collio would be the first choice for a lot of caves, but they're not fitting into many of the caves and the way they've been laid out now. So it seems we're all trying to figure out what's a great alternative, but we're going back to the, the wolves, the baryonyx, the sabers, the frogs, that type of thing to do these caves. And they have been updated, I must admit, you know, the interiors are looking great. So I've done the hunter cave a couple of times now with these wolves and they've been leveled up so they're less squishy but one of the tribe members Achilles he came in here day one with a pack of raptors about half a dozen and uh, yeah all he came out with was a dung beetle so you can get caught out in the hunter cave you'll you'll see in a sec as we come around this corner everything seems to clump together so you can get overwhelmed pretty quickly and but I'm loving the details, all these mushrooms and the glowing effects in here. It's really cool. Okay, well, let's just send in our wolf. And I think what I want to do moving forward is probably go for sabers. I've already found one half decent saber saddle. And uh, they're generally pretty common anyway. Okay. But yeah, there's some awesome details in this cave. Loot wise, been doing it a few times and from what I can see it's not great loot in this cave. A lot of ascendant stuff of course but it's uh, it's all sort of primitive rolls. So nothing, nothing great. I did get a really good torch though. Okay, some more spiders and amphros. But yeah, everything's seeming to sort of just clump together. And... Um, I can see how you could easily get caught out. And throws. It's another option for caving. I've never really used the Amphros, but I know Romeo suggested he might give them a try. And um, yeah, just kind of experimenting. Of course, without having the other maps open to us yet, we're limited to what you can get on the island. So. In a way, that's kind of been fun, going back to basics. I think everybody is missing the cryopods at this point, though. Not so much to throw everything out in the caves, but more to tidy around the base and stuff. But yeah, look at this. Look at the amount. It's just sort of clumped up here. <laughs> and the numbers. Doing insane damage. Like I say, in other caves, 
the wild creatures could go really, really high. I'm not actually sure what they're going to go up to as well, but yeah, you can just see there. The other wolf has taken at least half damage. So it's just as well these are, are leveled already. But yeah. God. <laughs> like 15k health on a wolf. It's not even mutated yet. I'm just going to pump it up a little bit. So yeah, the way the light works in all of these caves now. I think I've come around the back way. It's like two big circles in this cave. With all of the new details, I'm kind of getting a little bit lost sometimes. But yes, I often come in and jump down here. So I've come around a different way. Okay, I'm going to have to keep all of that keratin as well. So the artifact just up ahead. Yeah, there it is. You can see it through this crack. Be able to fit the walls through, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. But loving the details. Just the way Unreal 5 lights an area. So cool. Hoping it makes that much light on the top of my base. Because <laughs> I want the, uh, the effect to, to carry on at the top of the tower that we built last time round. Let's just throw it in the offer, Otter. And I'll get a couple of these. So yeah, I think plan for the next episode is I need to get a greenhouse down and Vex has come up with a really good idea for making round builds without the foundations working the way they used to. We've been experimenting how to make a really good circle and uh, I think we've come up with something. So that'll be a plan. For them, I think for the base that's what I want to concentrate on next because we really need to get them kibble farms and stuff started okay spiders I suppose spiders are an option as well I don't know I've never quite they are the creature that needs a TLC if you ask me I think they should be able to climb up walls and stuff you know They are. I think. I think the uh, spider's been left. You know. So I don't know if. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, Wildcard are going to be doing TLCs. If you look at what they've done to the Bronto, I think. Um, you know. Definitely, the spiders could use some of that. Right. Like I say, I don't think I'm really going to grind out the artifact of the Hunter Cave. The loot has not been great. I've been finding better stuff, to be honest with you, on the surface. And it's not necessarily the levels of the loot. It's just the rotation of what you can get out of this cave. And like I'll say, I'm not really after Ascendant Cloth stuff. Um... But I did find a good torch, and that's one of the reasons why I want to breed a sabre. Because uh, the wolves, of course, don't have a saddle, but I do like to have a torch when I'm exploring the caves. Just kind of that light effect uh, just helps up out a bit. That is one thing I will say about Ark Ascended. I haven't gammed up once, and you know, just light and shadow just work so much better that yeah it's just not necessary so this was the other side of the cave should have come in this way first actually um but yeah looks like there's a group of stuff down there yeah you can see how everything just sort of clumps together and um yeah i think it's it's best to come in here on an imprinted creature 
at the very least. Or a creature that's got a half decent saddle. Just get rid of these bugs as well. Scorpions. <laughs> All the light and effects off the mushrooms as well. can actually pick these mushrooms. They give you mainly fibre back, but can get some mushrooms out of the cave. Just up ahead. I've already grabbed these notes already, but got this Helena note just here. A little bit of ruins. That's something that's kind of remained from the original. Just <laughs> the way that the ruins are all lit up though. It's kind of more of a feature. I think there's three notes in this cave, if I remember rightly. Three or four. But of course, if you come in on the walls, you can just sniff the notes out. It's one of the best ways if you're doing a note run. It's one of the best creatures to do it on, I find. And um, I think the actual note tracking system is working better. I think, I think. I'd really need to test that on extinction because, whoa, Jesus, quite a few here. Um, yeah, extinction notes, they can just, they tend to be up high, low, behind things, just really awkward to find. Um, if you're trying to 100% all of the notes, I definitely recommend doing it on a wolf. Yeah, we're going to have to pump some pump some melee damage on you. Oh, frames. Yeah, I do get the odd frame drop like that. Kind of goes shaky. Let's see what's in this loot crate. Certainly not perfect. Let me know if you're on Xbox as well, how you're finding that. I've, um, I've checked out a couple of videos and streams and to be honest, I thought it <laughs> I thought it looked okay on the high-end Xboxes from what I can see. I wasn't expecting it to look quite as good as that. I knew you wouldn't be able to get PC performance, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd be unhappy to play it at uh, the way the Xbox users have, have got it. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much the artifact of the Hunter Cave. As I say, I recommend coming in on an imprinted creature. If you're using wolves, well, they tend to pathfind and track to you really well, so it's definitely an option now using pack animals for caves. Just having that imprint means you get that 30% reduction in damage and uh, the extra output when you when you sat on the creature so without that I think it might be a little bit of a struggle but that's pretty much the easiest cave on the island map and um, I just wanted to grab a few of those trophies so when I get back to base we can put them on the top of the tower and uh, I can show you what I've been up to with the workshop because oh, I put some I put some time into getting it right so let's head back to base and I'll show you what I've been up to. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I wanted to have the workshop outside. I kind of, I just really liked having it that way on the centre map. So just being able to fly in on creatures, drop things down, it just made <laughs> managing everything a little bit easier. I can just toss my metal down here. Actually, I can reach all three of those benches from the forge. So transferring stuff's pretty easy. Just got a cooker over here. The kibble production's probably gonna get done elsewhere, but I've also got these secret doors. This is another new addition. I really like that idea, actually, having the secret entrances, but that's just where I stash the generator. And uh, yeah, we've got all of the important stuff done. This took quite a while to put these staircases in just like this but I can fit through now and I'm kind of imagining just here is where 
I'm going to stick that greenhouse. And as I mentioned before, myself and Vex, we've been having a look at how to do some round builds. And I think that's what I'm going to show you next. Um, there's, it's not the same trick for getting something round anymore. And yeah, just under here, I've shoved all of the utility creatures. Wood gatherers, stone, flint. And uh, I don't really even need to put a door down here. At the back of here, we've got a cliff. So nothing can get in from the back past this tree. And uh, probably going to be able to stash quite a few creatures back here. And um, yeah, I mean, considering where we are, there's a lot of bad stuff. But we're just out of the way that nothing's actually bothering the base. And um, I think that's another thing you've got to take into account when deciding where to set up as a base location. A lot of the tribes have set up in places where they've had to put down walls and turrets and things are always kind of sneaking in and stuff. But in this particular spot, nothing wild has managed to kind of find its way up here really not uh, not too much so everything feels pretty safe uh, but yeah that's the the workshop fairly happy with it and uh, we're getting to work on that that was the essentials that's where i've been spending most of my time getting this stuff right of course to finish off with got to stick some artifacts down and I'm not sure if they give off as much light as they do when they're in the caves, but um, I might need to put another couple more and, I don't know, put them in the corners or something to, to give off the effect a little bit better. That being said, I can always put electricity in here and uh, use coloured lights. It's just... I don't know, I thought that might be more of a centerpiece. I guess we'll see at night time, but I'm really happy with how the base is turning out and uh, it's, it's looking good, but it's also pretty functional as well. And uh, trying to get a balance of both of them things is, yeah, it can take a little bit of time. But that's about it for this one. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.